Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and we got our Between the Bookends boxes. So we thought we'd do an unboxing for you. First, I don't know whose this is. First up is this one. I can't, I can't open it. Aha. There we go. This is Elena and I's. All right. So we got a, what is this? A snowman keychain. This adorable bookmark. Our stickers. A narwhal squishy. Oh, here's our little box. Oh, that's loud plastic. Oh, you got salted caramel and chocolate cocoa mix. Let's see. Gingerbread bath bomb. Socks, soft socks with the uh, Between the Bookends readers on it. And then we've got our books. The first one I've got is Amira and Hamza, The War to Save the World by Samira Ahmed. Um, it says, on the day of a super blood, super blue blood moon eclipse, 12-year-old Amira and her little brother Hamza can't stop their bickering while attending an exhibit on medieval Islamic astronomy. When a bored Hamza wanders off stumbling across the mesmerizing and forbidden box of the moon, Amira can only watch in horror as the defunct box springs to life, setting off a series of events. Don't press buttons. Now. Goodness, those puppies are loud. Setting off a series of events that could shatter their world, literally. Suddenly, day turns to night. Everyone around Amira and Hamza falls under a sleep spell, and a chunk of the moon breaks off hurtling toward them at lightning speed as they come face to face with two otherworldly creatures, the jinn. The jinn reveal that the siblings have a role to play in an ancient prophecy. Together they must journey to the mystical land of Kof, maybe? Q-A-F. Battle a great evil and end a civil war to prevent the moon, the stopper between realms, from breaking apart and unleashing terrifying jinn, devs, and ghouls onto earth. Or they might have to say goodbye to their parents and life as they know it forever. Two chosen ones. One quest. The other one is Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms. Oh, I read this one. Um, Storm from Storm Reads uh, told me about this or mentioned it in one of her videos or something. And I read this one over the summer. This is a good one. So Cameron grew up cherishing the book of Chidani's stories about the fabled kingdom that cut itself off from the world to save the Igbo people from danger. Passed down over generations, the book is Cameron's only connection to his parents, who disappeared two years ago. Yes, that is your box. When Cameron and his best friends, Zion and Aaliyah, decide to open the forbidden book, they are magically transported to Chidani. Instead of a land of beauty and wonder, they find a kingdom in severe danger of utter destruction. The people of Chidani have been waiting for the last descendant to return and save them. But is Cameron ready to be the hero they need? This is such an interesting book. It's so well written. All right. Yes, you shall be taking that one. In fact, here you go. Your sister is ready for her box. We love our Between the Bookends so much. Okay. Yeah, that's your box. Let's see. Ready? All right, it's the same peak wrapper, but she's not letting us show you. We're just digging in. You got a snowman keychain too? Okay. And let's see. What did you get? Oh my goodness, it is one of the penguin bath bombs. Oh, no, it's not a bath bomb. It is just a dig it. You dig it, and there's a penguin in there. And what is our favorite animal? Penguin. You can get your face in the video, baby. You can. You you want to show them? No. What'd you get there? A squishy. What is your squishy? Yours is a narwhal too. All right. And she also got a gingerbread bath bomb. And she also got 
a super cute bookmark. And she got chocolate supreme cocoa mix. And the pair of socks, which are too big for her feet, so mommy will have to take them. All right. Then we got Grand Jeté and me. Uh, this is written by Allegra Kent, the Balachine ballerina of the New York City Ballet, and illustrated by Robin Prius Glasser, who's the illustrator of the Fancy Nancy books. That is so cute. What do you think? You think good? Oh, well. Ooh, and we got our stickers, which have a penguin. But what is she gasping at, you might ask? Antarctic antics. This is a book of penguin poems written by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Jose Arugo and Ariane Dewey. So you got a book of penguin poems. Let's see. A hatchling song. I'm almost hatched. I'm almost hatched. I'm small. I'm wet. I'm not out yet. I'm almost hatched. I'm pecking hard. I'm pecking hard. I'm tired. I'm weak. It hurts my beak. I'm pecking hard. My head's outside. My head's outside. The moon is bright. The world's so white. My head's outside. I'm really hatched. I'm really hatched. At last I'm free. Hey, Dad, it's me. I'm really hatched. What kind of penguins are those? Emperor penguins. Good job. We know all. Oh, there was a whale. Oh, we don't like them, do we? Mm -mm. Killer whales. We don't like killer whales and we don't like seals. Why don't we like them, Melody? They eat penguins, but you do have a favorite whale, right? What? A blue whale? Why? Because they're my favorite. They're your favorite? Is it because they're so big or is it because they don't eat penguins? Because they still don't eat penguins. Because they don't eat penguins. The other day she said they get their protein other places. They're not bullies. Yep. All right. So those are our boxes from between the bookends. Uh, our whatever month this is. December. Our December boxes. The hint for next month's theme looks like that. So, super excited. Um, let's see. Exclusive fuzzy socks. And uh, it looks like we are missing the penguin bracelet from your box. Uh, no, Sister's Box was supposed to have a penguin bracelet. I may have just missed it, but I don't see it anywhere. Check in your, uh, in your box. See if we missed it, because I did not find it anywhere. But it says there's supposed to be a penguin bracelet in there. Do we get the full boxes? It would be your sister's. All right. We got the bath bomb, the narwhal. It's called a boba toy. Don't break it, baby. Because it's got these little boba beads, I guess, in it. Right? Yeah. And then the fuzzy socks, the bookmark, and the sticker pack, which were in all of them. And then they both got the hot cocoa mix and the snowman keychain. And she got the dig craft. And there should be a penguin bracelet in Elena's box, but I did not see it. So that's sad, but there's so much other great stuff in there. I would have never known we were missing an item if I didn't look in the actual booklet. Um, while we're sitting here, let's actually look at the stickers. I don't ever open the packs up to show you the stickers, and they always have such awesome stickers. Let's see them. All right. Nope. No penguin bracelet. All right. This penguin says, tis the season for reading. Then this polar bear is reading. We don't like polar bears either, but that's okay. And then this one says, be your own main character. So that's awesome. Love these. We will immediately be putting tis the season for reading somewhere. You want to go put it on your bookshelf? 
please put it on my other bookshelf. Your other bookshelf? Do you want to go do it? No? You want me to do it in a minute? Okay. We love these, and I will probably end up putting the other penguin on my laptop. All right. So that is all that we have for you today. Thanks for thanks for checking it out with us. We love our Between the Book End box. We love our Between the Book End boxes. They are fabulous. They always have great stuff. And like I said, even without the uh, penguin bracelet in Elena's box, we would have never realized we were missing anything because of the absolute awesome things and the value of what they put in. Uh, so if you haven't checked them out, definitely check them out. It's between the bookendsbox.com. They're linked down below anyway. Definitely go check them out. We will talk to you again soon. Until next time, stay safe out there. Bye.